Hello all. My early game goal for this league was to get birdhouses up and running as soon as possible. I initially thought the best way to do this would be to woodcut and fletch unstrung bows and then sell the unstrung bows to the general store to make money so that I could then pay to get my construction up, which is needed. Uh, you need 25 construction to make a clockwork in order to make a birdhouse. So that's what I've been doing for most of the day is just woodcutting and fletching and selling the bows. Uh, the money's been all right. But uh, about halfway through, I realized that I was kind of wasting experience because getting the tier two relic increases the XP multiplier from five times to eight times, and it only requires 500 points. There's a lot of really easy tasks to do. They give the easy ones give 10 points each, uh, and some of the easy ones are like pet a dog or pickpocket a man or woman, which is uh, it's very easy. I was also able to complete a couple medium ones along the way. Uh, so for our first relic, we took the end, uh, production master, rather. I had thought about taking on this harvest, but I thought uh, production master would help us more in the long run than endless harvest, which uh, eventually would get to a point, I think, that it wouldn't be very beneficial. Uh, and for the second relic we took last recall, I was definitely leaning towards Eternal Jeweler for quite a while. But after using last recall, I definitely vouch for it. It's really, uh, really quite good. You can see, I uh, will go do this real quick. So with Production Master, I can craft, uh, fletch this whole inventory, hit 57 fletching, which is nice. Uh, run over here into Zanaris, and over this way there is a general store. So I can go in here, sell all of my unstrung bows, click this, which is the crystal, and I am back at the log. So it teleports you back to the last place that you teleported from. I think it'll be very useful with bossing and just a lot of things in general. Rune crafting is going to be really nice. So we'll take a quick look at the stats here and then we'll get into doing some of the quests. I held off on doing most of the quests uh, so I could do them with the eight times modifier. So all the skills that I have here are either related to getting birdhouses or related to getting to tier two relic. So the woodcutting and fletching were all about getting the birdhouse money. And I actually, uh, for the mining and smithing, I did that so I could get steel bars. And I did later realize that you actually get steel bars from doing one of the quests that we'll be doing shortly called Daddy's Home. Uh, you get five of them as part of the reward. So that was a bit of a waste, but uh, I guess you can't really waste stats anyways. So before we get into doing questing, I do want to go get my 10,000 from the Stronghold of Security. I didn't want to do it earlier when I was quite laggy. Uh, so let's go head over that way. But before we do that, we are going to teleport back to Lumbridge. And we're going to get our Iron Man armor just for a little bit of added defense, uh, as well as I should get some food. So this will be... A prime example of how nice the Crystal of Memories is. Something I forgot to mention as well is we did do a beginner clue and the reward was a black robe and we actually have another beginner clue so we'll bring that with us. We've also been able to get 10k uh, plus a thousand I had bought a house to do the task as well as uh, if you if you've already purchased one, when you do Daddy's Home, you do get a thousand gold back, so we'll get that back eventually. Uh, so we need that. We can put those in, and a spade, and some food. And we teleport back. All right, we are dressed for success, and we're ready to go. Wish me luck. Whoops, I was uh, looking at the editing on the video and uh, <laughs> it 
here we are. Well, it is an achievement, or a task rather, to do this. Um, so that is fine. We'll just go through this and hopefully get our stuff back. So before I head back there, I was actually able to get most of the stuff back. Uh, really just the food, I believe, uh, that we are missing. But we'll still try and get up there and got 13 minutes left. So we'll see if we can get it back. All right, so we were able to get everything back for free, I believe. I didn't see it charge anything. So we'll pick up all these shrimpos and we'll continue on. Now we have two Dreaming staff. So that was actually uh, the best thing to do. I'm going to go through this door before I die. All right. Well, hopefully the next clip is me being done and not dead again. All right, there we go. We got the 10k gold. No more deaths along the way. Uh, we could go down another level to get the boots, which is another easy task, I believe. It's definitely a task, but uh, we will do that later. Uh, I'm not in too big of a rush to get tasks done now. I just kind of want to get uh, my mini goal done. Um, we'll see where that takes us. So we've got quite the nice stack of cash here, 20 grand. And we'll be starting to do the quests with Daddy's Home soon, as well as the museum quiz. But I figured we would hopefully one-shot this beginner clue. I think there's a couple achieve a couple tasks. I'm going to keep calling them achievements, but a couple tasks where if you get a unique reward, and there we go, we got the casket. Uh, if you get a unique reward, you'll get points, and there's some for getting all the unique rewards, but anyways. Uh, let's just get around this corner. Yeah. And... Oh, there we go. We just got that one. Gain a unique item from a, be from a beginner clue. We also got a Staff of Earth and four Chaos. That's pretty good. 7,000 gold for that. Not bad. Oops. We're going to rock that, of course. <laughs> Looking great. All right, now that we got the best in slot top piece, we're going to go complete the quest Daddy's Home. In order to do this quest, you'll be needing 10 planks. So in order to get that, we'll need to be getting 10 logs as well as 1,000 gold. We'll also need 5 bolts of cloth, which is going to cost us 3,250 gold. We're going to need some nails, a hammer, and a saw. The hammer you can get from any general store, or pretty much any general store. And the saw you can get actually from the start point of the quest, which is up here in Verok. So the saw is right there on the ground. And we will begin this quest, I believe, by talking to Marlo. Uh, I forgot to buy the bolt of cloth. All right, we're heading back up. All right, time for that big XP drop. Boom, 3,200 XP as the big drop. I think we must have also got 1,000 gold. I wasn't looking at that, but... And a bunch of rewards. I'm actually intrigued. I was uh, kind of intrigued to see if we were going to get the Falador teleport. Uh, we can't use it right now, or if we do, it might disappear, but um, yeah, nice reward. Let's go do the history quiz quest now. All right, to start out here for some big hunter and slayer XP, we're going to talk to Orlando Smith and get this quest started, and we will blast through it real quick. I believe now we have completed the quiz. If we talk to him, we should get some big XP. There we go, 8,000 each. We get the task for completing the quiz. And we are sitting at 25 Hunter, 25 Slayer. I also forgot to show we are actually sitting at 24 Construction, which is very close to the construction level we need for Birdhouses. We are almost there. Let's go do Misthalin Mystery next to get some crafting experience. 
Once we talk to Mandy here, we should be getting some good crafting XP. 4,800, as well as a few uncut gems. That's taking us to 20 crafting. It's pretty good. Uh, we will need a little higher for, what do we need? We'll need 25 for Willow, uh, Willow birdhouses. So let's go do the other two crafting quests or the two quests that give, is there two? It's definitely one. So we're gonna go do sheep shearer cause that will get us close to 25 crafting and we'll decide what to do after that. So it didn't take me very, oh, no. Didn't take me very long to gather the wool. So I uh, took a whole inventory just for a little bit of extra XP. So let's craft that in one go. Gave us a level. We're gonna go run up and turn in the quest. 1200 XP for completing sheep shearer. And we are short. And an inventory of wool gives us around 200 XP. So I think we'll pass on getting to 25. We're gonna have to start out with oak, but that's fine. Let's get 25 construction real quick and start our birdhouses. All right, so I believe this is actually all we're gonna need in order to get our crafting table two and then make our clockworks. Uh, we do need a molten glass, so we'll be getting that on the way. We're gonna start out by teleporting to the Karamja teleport spot. So I came here to buy the soda ash and bucket of sand and actually realized I could just buy enough to get my, I should buy a glass blowing pipe as well, uh, enough to get up to 25 crafting before we start doing birdhouses. So we'll come back here a little later and do that. All right, so to start out, we have to build or purchase a workshop, which is gonna drop 10,000 coins off of us. There we go, I don't care, we're gonna build it. We got a task for that, very cool. The clock making space is what we need. And we're gonna start out with the crafting table one, which only requires four oak planks. And that will take us to 26 crafting, but it will give us enough to upgrade it to level two, which I think that only gave us eight XP. But um, and now we can go ahead and create the clockwork mechanisms. I guess I have to click each time, okay. So I don't need this many, but I figured I would just buy as much as they had there. And we're gonna craft all of this. Oh, this is an instant, that's interesting. We'll see if the glass blowing aspect is instant. That's 160 XP per, it's pretty good. What's, uh, I actually don't know what level that should be instant. Yeah, that was instant, 1400 XP. Sitting at 26, pretty much 27. And we can drop all these. Let's go do birdhouses. I actually forgot that we need some seed. So we'll just buy out the stock here of some of these cheaper seeds. Uh, that's enough for four anyways, so we'll do that first and then maybe thieve some later. Let's begin our birdhouse adventure. We're gonna first craft all of these, 200 XP each. It's pretty good. And we'll place that down, put some seed in it, and off we go. Number two. Number three. And number four, there we go. And we pick up this and we're good to go. I'm glad to have reached my early game goal today. Got birdhouses up and running as I wanted. Not too sure what I'm gonna be doing tomorrow. Maybe getting some base stats, maybe base 20, base 30. We're almost at 400 total, that's pretty cool. I'm probably not gonna unlock the next area until the weekend, we'll see. But other than that, have a good one.